temperatures that would kill an unprepared human in hours. Massive, dangerous predators. This wasn't a brief winter. This was the reality for 200,000 years. This was the world of the Neanderthal. And they didn't just survive it, they thrived. How did they become the ultimate Ice Age specialists? Their first and most obvious advantage was their physique. Evolution sculpted them into cold weather machines. Their bodies were stocky and barrel chested. This compact build has less surface area compared to volume, which drastically reduces heat loss. In simple terms, they were built to conserve warmth. Compare their frame to the taller, lankier build of Homo sapiens, who evolved in warmer climates. Neanderthals were biologically engineered for efficiency in the cold. Then there's the famous Neanderthal nose. It wasn't just a distinctive feature, it was a built-in climate control system. Their large, wide noses were perfect for humidifying and warming the cold. Dry air they breathed in before it hit their sensitive lungs. This was a critical adaptation for living in freezing environments, protecting them from damage and conserving vital body energy. But survival wasn't just about biology. It was about technology and knowledge. Their primary weapon was fire. They weren't just users of fire, they were masters of it. Evidence from sites across Europe shows they consistently created hearths, some even engineered with draft channels. Fire provided warmth, protection from predators like cave lions, and a place to cook, which made food safer and more nutritious. It was the absolute center of their social and survival world. Their toolkit was designed for the task. They crafted sophisticated stone spear points using the Livala technique, designed to take down massive thick-hided game like woolly rhinoceros and mammoths. They were expert butchers, using razor-sharp flakes to process every part of the animal. They likely used hides and furs to create layered, weatherproof clothing, though this rarely survives in the archaeological record. They knew how to use their resources completely. Perhaps their most underrated skill was their deep, generational knowledge of the land. They weren't just wandering brutes. They were intuitive naturalists. They knew the migration patterns of herds, the locations of fresh water under the ice, which plants could be used for food or medicine, and how to navigate a treacherous, frozen landscape. This knowledge, passed down through generations, was as vital as any tool. They also exhibited compassion, which was a survival strategy in itself. Skeletons like Shanadar one, who survived for years with a crippling head injury and a withered arm, proved that the group cared for their injured and elderly. This social cohesion meant that valuable knowledge was retained and the group remained strong. They looked after their own. Calling them cavemen sells them short. They were resilient, intelligent, and brilliantly adapted people. They were not struggling against their environment. They were experts of it.